With the Commonwealth Games quickly approaching, I've had some time to reflect on the ever-changing world of sport. The biggest change I've noticed is the significant impact women have in sport. This impact will continue as the 2018 Commonwealth Games hosted in Gold Coast Australia will be the first time ever in the history of a multi-sport games to have an equal number of medal events for both men and women. The differences in equality have been demonstrated in many different forms such as money, opportunity and exposure. Looking at Australia's top 50 sports earners, only two women, six-time world surfing champion Stephanie Gilmore, number 39 at $1.75 million, and World Golf Hall of Famer Carrie Webb, number 50 at $1.28 million, are in the top 50, the rest are male. When comparing opportunities such as athletic scholarships, according to the Women's Sports Foundation, male athletes receive roughly $179 million more each year than females do. Other examples of differences include the Cricket World 2020 in March 2016, both male and female cricket teams flew across to India at the same time to compete. The International Cricket Council funded all the men's teams to fly business class but only paid for the women's teams to fly economy class. The women had to pay for their own upgrades. To add a further blow, the total prize money for the men's event was $5.6 million, 16 times the $400,000 for the women's tournament. With the limited funding, it's amazing to see that since 1928, women have won 80% of Australia's track gold medals and won a stack of medals in the swimming pool, even though they only made up about 20% of the Australian Olympic team during the 20th century. When reflecting on the information, the major limitation as to why I believe women as athletes aren't on equal playing field, is that women's sport only receives 7% of Australian TV sports programming and 9% of sports coverage on the news. Even horses get more coverage than sportswomen. That lack of coverage means less funding, less sponsorship, less opportunities and consequently lower salaries. To add to this, researchers found that news segments on women's sport are actually shorter, include fewer interviews and have less entertaining commentary. So what other shifts have been made? Well Rugby Sevens women have made some moves after winning gold at the Rio Olympics. They bargained a new collective agreement that both men and women Sevens players will now receive an annual entry-level salary of 44,500 Australian dollars. This agreement also includes a pregnancy policy for female athletes, which ensures financial security for players who become pregnant. To summarize an increase in exposure doesn't just give female athletes better opportunities for sponsorship or increased salaries, it most importantly provides young girls and women role models. Teenage girls have some of the lowest sport participation mostly due to body image and lack of confidence. They are craving positive inspiration and guidance and media platforms play a huge role in this. There are many new platforms that have been working to provide exposure, opportunity and support for athletes. One that I'm personally working on, Rookie is designed to help all athletes gain quick and effective exposure, with little time impact to the athlete. 